Welcome back to Control. Last episode, we finished up executive and maintenance. So now moving on to research as far as seeing if there's any areas I can reach now that I couldn't before, uh, new security clearances, any quests that I have to do here, things like that. Um, first thing I want to do here is we have a quest from Ahti to talk with the plants. I, I guess we're trying to cheer up the plants. So yeah, let's do that. Um, I also want to see if I can upgrade my weapon. At least any of the weapons I care about. No, I still am missing a remote thought. Okay. Talk to the plants is all it says. I don't know what plants specifically. Talk to the plants. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At least they can't talk back. I hope. Do I hope that'd actually be pretty cool if they could talk back? It doesn't say specifically on the map. Oh. Are they marked by <laughs> radios playing Finnish songs? I hope your day has been productive little plant <laughs> that really works huh <laughs> it does so I guess just keep an ear out for music oh well there isn't music next to all of them I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much <laughs> I wish my leaves were as pretty as yours. Aww. hoping they'd all be on the bottom floor, but it seems not. So it seems like they're all in these, like, individual kind of planters, not, say, like, in there. At least I hope. It's the one I launched. Oops. Thought I was telling me there was a plant nearby. Do you have a family? I have a brother. I miss him a lot. Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. <laughs> That's all of them. But I kind of wish there were more. Yeah, that was pretty great. Just looking around parapsychology. I know we've already looked around a lot of these places when I was looking for the mold hosts. I had levitate at the time. So I doubt there's much to find. But I did just find this. Recording chair procedures. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Number one, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in their chair. Number two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. 3. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. 4. Activate the recording apparatus. 5. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder. Do not be alarmed 
if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness, astral dilation is a known issue. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I, I think that by trying to get all those mold hosts around the research sector, while I had the ability to levitate, I think I've already explored everything there. I don't think there's anything new to find, except maybe the odd missed note. So I'm just moving on to containment. And we have a bunch of quests to do here, including including the uh, person that I left staring at a fridge. I did not forget them. I mean, I did for a while, but I've remembered them. Don't worry, we're going to get them. It's just going to take a while. Going to head to the medical wing now. So that's a, uh, the last remaining quest we have from Ahti to eradicate the mold in the medical wing. Level six. Is that where I have to go for the quest? I think so. Oh, hey. I remember there's a door over here, too. Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? Got it burst right out of him. Call Black! Get Marshall! Jesus Christ. This place isn't for the quest. How much of this cons is considered a medical wing? Like, is this over here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I remember this place now. Full of goop in here. It's gotten in here, too? All right. She said, cocking her gun. <laughs> I love that you can tell where Ahti's been because of that. Oh, that's moving. Are we supposed to shoot that? Yep. Strange pulsating growths. Gotcha. Ow. Wow. 
once again. Ow. Was there any in here that I missed? Don't think so. Oh, is this still considered medical wing? I don't think so. Okay, then I've definitely missed some in here. Wait, this game back? Possessed. I could indiscriminately blow up everything, and that would probably get it. We can do better than that, though. We can't do better than that. I wonder if Ahti oh, would say anything new if we went back to them, now that we've done all their stuff. Thanks, good job, or here's some more jobs. What do we want to do next here? Actually, you know what? I just want to go straight back to Ahti. That's the reason they can go as Looks like that's just it. Let's go check out the Panopticon. That's a place I remember looked like it had a million opportunities for cool places to find that we couldn't get to before because we didn't have a levitate. Also, where that poor person staring at a fridge is. We just have five ability points to spend. Always good to go for more energy, certainly. Hmm, it's weird. It it keeps going up in how much energy you get. 10%, 20%, 20%, 30%, and then the last one is only 15%. Mm. Yeah, let's go with energy. Boring, I know. Let's also get a little bit of ground slam damage. And I don't suppose I've gotten the thing I need to upgrade my weapons... Wait, no, I do. Yeah. Yeah, we can upgrade anything right now. Okay, well, it's got to be Pierce, right? And then charge would also be nice, but now we can't because we don't have untapped potential. Now I have the third slot for Pierce. Damage after a kill. Headshot damage. Animal cost for levitating, right? That's irrelevant for Pierce. Hmm. I don't really love any of these, to be honest. I guess. Hmm. Headshot damage? Damage after a kill? Damage after a kill? Oh, hey, how long have we had a third personal mod slot available? I think for a long time, actually. Oops. Uh, so right now we have plus 36% health and minus 23% launch energy cost. Energy plus 20%, that's very good. Health plus 35%, that's great. I don't think I need to be able to launch more things. I can already launch a lot of things. <laughs> energy recovery speed, it's really good. Health recovery per element pickup is something I've wanted to bring back, actually. It can be really hard to recover all your health, especially now that my health bar is getting so big. I'm going to go with that. And let's also make that poor, poor person fridge duty my active quest. I guess we'll start exploring from the bottom up. Like, 
could totally go over there. Floor one. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, we've already been here, obviously. And this floor is not where the fridge is. I think the fridge is up on the fourth floor. Which that can take me to, of course. Yeah, nothing else to explore on the first floor. I never got on that one. Have we been here? It's just all question marks. The archives. Is this not accessible? Other than the way I just came in? Christmas tree. I just totally haven't been here at all. It is accessible. I just haven't been here. Then let's go check out the archives. Once in a while, I get hopeful that maybe, maybe they can be defeated.
Yeah, and archives. We've got to be able to find some really good documentation. There's got to be secrets in here. Good secrets. The exact process of how an altered item is born eludes us. We find them in the aftermath of altered world events. They take the form of everyday objects, ever present in our lives, constantly evoked in the thoughts of millions of people, now infused with unpredictable energies. They're altered. The superstitious would call them cursed. Now, are altered items sentient? Not quite. They're often fixated, programmed almost to cause certain events to happen over and over again. While generally less potent than objects of power, they are not able to be controlled. Left unchecked, they, they can be highly dangerous. To study altered items, we contain them in Penaltia. in here hmm. oh Altered item behavior changes. Recently, there have been some alarming changes in behavior and altered effects in two altered items in the Panopticon. The and the have become much more aggressive, with entirely new effects manifesting for no discernible reason. The items have been investigated for updated containment procedures to counter these new effects, with one successfully discovered to be contained by constant visual contact. Oh, the fridge! But this development is worrying. What if all the altered items undergo this behavioral change? We need to find out why this is happening, what is changing. Handling these altered items has also resulted in numerous Panopticon staff being... I would say they've gone to the astral plane, but these aren't objects of power. Not one of them has come back. This, plus the uptick in astral knots not returning from their dives, has me wondering what the hell is going on. Is anyone looking into this? Is there any plan? Oh god, I didn't know it could get up here. is so annoying. All right, we got to explore this ground floor really fast. If I get trapped in this bathroom, I'm dead. Oh. 
Oh, fuck. Jesus. Threshold kids, I think. Yeah, they're having a heckin' fight down there. That's actually good that they're only paying attention to each other. Oh my god, come on. Oh no, it's making its way up to the third floor. Methods proposal. In this proposal, I'd like to explore the matter of containment policy. When an altered item enters the oldest house, we thoroughly investigate any possible combination of actions or words or material that will prevent the item from applying its altered effect. 
However, I work with these entities every day, and I have good reason to believe that a less convoluted form of containment is possible. The items crave... something. If we initiated a series of praising the items, or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of... that could be visited throughout the Bureau, I believe the altered items would behave without needing to resort to... or... which only led to the items feeling mistreated. If we treat them like criminals, we can't be surprised when they try to escape. That just... hmm. That just gave me an idea. I think I've stated before that I have some vague suspicion that Jesse is an altered item or something like that. But... It says the items crave something. If we need to initiate a series of some things, praising the item, or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of something that could be visited throughout the bureau. Incorporate the altered item's image into things that could be visited throughout the bureau, such as my face in every frame for the director. All over the bureau. Hmm. More? Dear God. Okay, I think that's everything up on this third floor. Completely for the archives, actually. <laughs> Shit. No, I want to go up there towards the light. This place is just absolute freaking chaos. Alright, forget it. It's almost certainly nothing. gives off smoke. <sighs> okay, so not everything connects. Like, I don't think I can walk all the way around to over there. That's the elevator. I think I already went over there, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we checked that out already. <laughs> Have I been on this level? I 
remember this under construction place, so I don't think I have. And that just goes up to the fourth floor. Is that the same duck that chased me before? It's back? That little fucker. Oh, the surfboard. Yeah, we read about that too. I think I already tried over here, right? Yeah. Okay, up to the fourth floor. There you are! You didn't die, thank god! Your eyes open. 